Hi, I'm Paris, and have you ever wished you had an extra hand, especially on the computer, whether you're gaming and your mouse doesn't have enough buttons, or you're in an office document and you've got the keyboard and 10 key going and you don't want to have to reach for the mouse, or in my case where I'm trying to caption my videos, but typing as fast as I can, I can't keep up with the words and I don't have an extra hand to go over to the mouse and pause the playback. Well, it's times like that that using your foot can give you a leg up. This is a pair of foot controller pedals plugs into your computer or other devices with the USB connection and allows you to control almost anything you can control with the keyboard or the mouse. This set is from a company called iKeyGall. If you don't need uh, two pedals, you can buy them in individual or even up to three in one set. The back is metal. The cord is plenty long to reach to the USB ports of your computer. And there's a good activation feel and sound with the pedals. And I know these are well made because I gave a gift of these to my daughter about a year ago for Christmas. She's a gamer. She games daily and her set has held up just fine. This set goes for about $40 on Amazon. You can find out more about it at the link down below this video. For those of you who haven't watched our family videos on Epic Review Guys or Rainy Day Dreamers, my daughter's right arm was paralyzed when she was six years old. She had West Nile virus, so she has to game with just her left hand. And we got her a mouse with loads of buttons, but it still didn't do everything she wanted. She basically had to give up, I think it was crouching and jumping, which are important in some of the games that she plays. So when we found out there were pedals that we could get to hook up to her computer that would allow her to map each pedal step to a function in the game, made her so happy. It does get a little noisy in the living room when she's in the middle of an exciting game and we're hearing all of this going on and her shouting at the screen, but it's made her really happy to be able to do all the features in the game. And the rubber pads on the back of this have been really good. They don't slide around where she has it under her desk. I'll show you a little later. I'll show her her set because this one's for me. I'll be using it on carpet, so I don't expect it to go anywhere here, but she uses it on our laminate flooring and it does not slide around. What game are you playing, Roxana? I'm playing Overwatch. Overwatch, okay. Oh no. And every click, 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 that's the foot pedals. So let's take a look at them. Oh. So what are you using your right foot for? Uh, I'm using my right foot to jump. Jump, uh-huh. And my left foot to melee, melee attacks. I'm okay. Sure uh-oh. I'm guessing it didn't go well? No, I just died. <laughs> I saw the feet stop moving. <laughs> Included in the package, they give you a little mini CD with the software on it, but it's better to go to their website and download the latest version. And there's a little instruction manual. There's a little bit to the setup, and I'll show you that in this video. On their website, you can check the OS compatibility list. You can see it works all the way back with DOS, Windows XP through Windows 10, Linux, Max and Android, so with a converter piece to plug this into your phone, you could be controlling features on your phone with your feet as well. Here on their website, you can see the different versions of the software. The newest one, 6.9.9, came out just a few days ago, so they do keep this up to date. And when I click on the shortcut to start it up, I get to this screen. This is the point where I need to plug the device into a USB port of my computer. I've got the foot pad set up under the desk where I want it. Now I will plug in the cord. Took just a couple seconds and the device was properly recognized. The options on this screen are for assigning the foot pedal steps to different keyboard functions. Here are the mouse assignment options. Here's the game assignment. From what I've seen with my daughter, the gamer, you can assign the functions just in the game itself by going to the function you want and stepping on the pedal and it will tie that in. This is the function I want to have taken over by the foot pedals, the multimedia. I basically want play and pause. It was very easy to set those to play and stop or pause. Here's subtitle edit, the program I use for captioning. It's not quite working the way I expected. So here in a media player, by stepping on the left pedal, it's not been all rosy. Play, pause. Throughout the past few play, years, I've... pause. It doesn't do it in the program where I need it to though. So I looked at the help page for my program and I found there's a keyboard shortcut for pause and play. I'm gonna not try programming it to that instead. And now, stepping on the left pedal. All rosy throughout Step the past on it again. years. I've been losing weight. There have been tough times in terms of eating. Just what I needed. Dealing with not eating certain. And what could I use this extra pedal for? I found a good feature. When I step on the right pedal, 
Rewinds three seconds. Tough times in terms of dealing. Pause. Go back three seconds. Another three seconds. Things have not Play. been all rosy throughout All this the without having to take my hand off the keyboard. Have been okay, I changed things up a little for what the right button does. I'm ready to start with this next section. Here as I've been losing weight there. Now I want to listen to a little bit more. In terms of dealing with... No in terms of dealing with now i'm going to start a new one here okay and listen not eating certain foods or not eating certain foods okay i have a little bit of an issue with some line overlap there but other than that i think i'm going to make this work and if this will speed up my captioning i think it'll cut the time in half that it takes me to do a video Typical seven to 10 minute video takes me the better part of an hour to caption right now. So I'm ready to get going on my captioning and excited that I might be able to do it in just half the time. You can find out more about the iKeyGall foot switch at the link down below this video. Again, goes for about $40. And the next time you need an extra hand, consider using your feet. See you on the next review.